today we will see the lab of cytoside vpn on the palo alto firewall okay. and here you will see like between the two sides we need to make the reachability okay so what i will do i'll take a two firewalls behind these two firewalls will have the private network so one has a 10.11.11.5 another has a 10.26.26.5 <clears throat> now between this i am not going to take any other device rather i am going to just put them in the same subnet and make the connectivity okay so between these two we are going to create the tunnel and make sure the tunnel interfaces on both the sides are in the same subnet with the ip address of 1 and 2 we'll make it and then <clears throat> we'll create a phase 1 and phase 2 policy and we'll see we'll be able to communicate within these two private networks through the tunnel from one side to another side did you understand the task guys <clears throat> yeah yes okay so this is our task So what I will do is I'll take two firewalls and I'll configure two different PCs on two different sites. And after that, we'll go for the side to side VPN configuration. So here, this Windows PC, which you can see Windows written, this I'll take behind this firewall, the student firewall, I'll take it as a uh the site 2 firewall okay this will be a site 2 firewall and this firewall which you see a new batch this will act like a site 1 firewall behind this i'll have this test pc so behind this firewall uh, i have the one test pc and behind this firewall i have the another test pc okay and our target would be to communicate within these two loop back uh, means two test pieces with each other through the tunnel that's our intention <clears throat> From this PC, I'm going to put the password according to our topology. Here I should put the IP address as a 10.26.26.5. So let me put it. I'll come here. Ten dot twenty six dot twenty six dot five with the subnet mask of twenty four. And here I'll give ten dot twenty six dot twenty six dot ten as a gateway. <clears throat> And I'll make sure this PC is present in a different VLAN. I'll just take like, <clears throat> can you see here outside it too, uh, somewhere written? Okay, wait, wait. See, there is one outside and another there is a words outside WAN, right? Uh, wait. I have a LAN 2, right? Not the outside. I have the LAN 2, right? I have the LAN 2. One LAN interface you can see here is written that I'll use it for the one firewall. Another firewall, I'll use the LAN 2 as a LAN inside. Okay. <clears throat> I'll come to this PC. Sorry, this firewall. I'll reset this firewall. And on this firewall also, Username admin. <laughs> Username admin password as a follower to. It will take some time. Let these devices get ready. Meanwhile, I'll just check the interfaces. <clears throat> 
my PC IP address here it is. This is my previous test PC, right? On which I'll have the IP address of 10.11.11. I guess 10. Dot, okay. This is test PC, right? <coughs> I'll put 10.11.11.5 with the mask of 24. 10.11.11.10 10 as a gateway. <clears throat> I'll make sure this is in inside. LAN inside. See, LAN 2 I've used for another side firewall. LAN inside I'll use for the Firewall one. This is my firewall. <clears throat> okay, good. Let me check these devices are up or not. Username, admin, password as a follow all to still not able to log in. <coughs> admin. the username again sorry password as a admin showing incorrect i still not able to log in <clears throat> let's say this is pa1 and the other I'll make as a PA2. PA2. So these are the two firewalls. Now under the PA1 I have test PC and under the PA2 I have the Windows PC. Okay. So I'll make sure the Windows PC is inside the LAN inside on the PA1. Here also I'll find it's a LAN inside the LAN interface. <clears throat> okay and on the pa2 i'll just find okay this is land 2 not the land 1 it's a land 2 so these two interfaces in a land 2 i have made it land interfaces <clears throat> on pa2 students might have done some configuration so what i'll do is i'll reset this pa2 pa1 is fine Admin password as a capital sorry P A L O follow also okay I'm able to log in here and I will test the connectivity I will test the connectivity to ten dot eleven dot eleven dot ten I guess there is some conflict with the IP addresses with this Palo Alto firewall. <clears throat> I'll admin 
and admin are login. Oh, admin, admin, not allowing me. <clears throat> I don't know what password they have kept. Let me try after a few minutes. I need to start the admin PC as well to get the GUI of both the firewalls. <clears throat> okay. It is PA2. Whoever was uh, you know, using it, I don't know what password they have kept. Taking very long time over here. I guess the IP addresses are getting conflicted or what? <clears throat> if I would log in, then I could reset it. <clears throat> okay, I'll do one thing. I'll not take much time. I'll stop it and I'll deploy the new firewall. <clears throat> Instead of wasting time on it, this is 1.2 version, right? Yeah. I'll deploy the new one. <clears throat> and I'll delete the previous one.
<coughs> let it get deployed. <coughs> Meanwhile, let me test the connectivity with this PC. Say it's a reachable. It was getting conflicted. Okay. <coughs> So till that particular firewall gets deployed and gets started, okay. So what we'll do, we'll manage the PA1. <clears throat> so through the admin PC, I'll take the access <clears throat> on the PA1. That's your not three dot zero dot zero dot two five four. <clears throat> advance add exception username admin password as a follower now it is working smoothly previously it was showing lots of errors there was the conflict with IP addresses <clears throat> This is in deploying state. Okay. So I got the access through the admin PC, guys. <clears throat> On the PA1, I got the access. I'll do a few things. Like we have some translation policies, right? <clears throat> right now, I'll disable the translation policies. I don't need this translation policies because we are going to configure the. Uh, VPN that will go from inside to outside. I don't want the translation to happen. <clears throat> okay, so make sure the other policies are disabled. We'll only work with the security policy. Group. I'll commit the changes. <clears throat> Okay, so here I can see on the PA1, my interfaces are configured, LAN, DMZ, WAN. Okay, so I need only LAN and WAN. So let the other interface be present. <clears throat> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure the configuration on the I mean, on the PA1 for the VPN meanwhile. So I'll create the zone. I'll create the VPN zone as a layer three. VPN zone as a layer three. After that, I'll create a tunnel interface. I mean, like I'll create the address object for the tunnel interface. Tunnel interface IP as a 10.30.30.1. <clears throat> After that, I'll create a tunnel interface and I'll assign that object with the IP address to the tunnel interface and I'll create a phase one policy so let's do these few steps first of all I'll come to the admin PC and on the admin PC <clears throat> on this admin PC I'll first of all get into the addresses. I'll create the address like tunnel IP. Here I'll say 10.30.30.1. Okay, slash 24. I'll say okay. Now I'll come to the network, I'll come to the zone. I'll add a zone. I'll say tunnel underscore zone and type is L3. Say OK. <clears throat> now we'll come to 
the interfaces <clears throat> and under the interface you can see you have a tunnel say add and give some tunnel interface number and select the virtual router make sure they all are in the same virtual router security zone you can give the tunnel zone ipv4 address you can have the tunnel ip address and you can allow the you can create a tunnel profile for icmp for icmp and allocate it over here and say okay <clears throat> so i created the tunnel interface over here now i need to create the ipsec between the two sides so i need to configure the phases can you see here the network profiles can you see the network profiles over here and under the network profiles you will see the different profiles present so under this you will see you have the ike crypto that's your phase one so you'll create the phase one policy okay <clears throat> so you'll say phase one under which you'll give the defilement group as a five or two whatever you want authentication md5 <clears throat> You can use multiple algorithms, even that is possible. For the encryption, you can go with the three days, you can go with the AES 128, whatever you want. You can see the lifetime. <clears throat> By default, it has taken for the eight hours for the phase one. I'll make it as a 24 hours. It's up to you how you want to make. Okay. Now, this was my phase one policy I created here. You need to create a phase one gateway. You need to give the phase one gateway. Just like defining the peer address and attaching the profile to the phase one details. So here you will say <clears throat> phase one gateway. And here you will define it's a IKV1 mode only. I'm not using any other mode. Through which interface are you going to create the tunnel? Okay, that you need to allocate over here. Now, <clears throat> say in the document I have already mentioned here. Here, what did I mention? Phase one gateway. My public interface, WAN interface IP. This is the WAN interface IP which will be used for the. So, according to my document, there is a separate WAN IP. So you need to replace it with the existing WAN IP. Now the peer IP, I'll define it statically. And my peer public IP, whatever it is, I'll define here. And the authentication method with, with a, will be the pre-shared key and define the key what you want to negotiate with. Then you guys need to click with the advanced option. And in the advanced option, you'll attach the, attach the phase one policy. <clears throat> you'll attach the phase one policy that we created before. So this is how we have to do, then we'll go for the phase two configuration. So now come to the admin PC. <clears throat> Here we'll say, okay, through the WAN interface, is it using a WAN IP and my peer address. My peer public IP, I want to keep it as a 172.16.3. In my case, I'll make it as a 181 as an IP. And I'm going to use a key as a follow alto. Again, follow alto as a key. So I'll say, okay, I created the phase one gateway. So this is done. <clears throat> now I need to create the phase two policy. So you can see there is a crypto IP set, IP set crypto. It's basically the phase two parameters you'll be defining. So you will say phase two. Okay. Phase two. You'll define the encryption for the phase two with the three days. 
AES. You can define the multiple algorithms. List will be given as a priority. And for authentication phase two, you can use SAR-256. Group you can use two. And you can use a tunnel hour for, you know, tunnel for one hour. It's up to you. Now, one thing, let me just make confirm over here. Uh, I have used a group five over here, so better use a group five for the phase two also. <clears throat> group as a five. Now, this is how we define the phase one and the phase two parameters. Okay. And we need to assemble those uh, configurations under the IPsec tunnel. So here you need to come and you need to say, <clears throat> IPsec <coughs> tunnel, give some names. What is your tunnel interface? Tunnel one. <coughs> what is your IK gateway? We created the IK gateway. <coughs> now, here I created the phase two. IPsec crypto profile that I created over here. <clears throat> now, here under the IK gate, you guys will mention, according to the configuration, what I've done, I should be able to see the IK1 gateway profile that I have created. That's what I was looking for. <clears throat> you can see here, phase one gateway we created. So under this tunnel information, I created Phase one gateway. Phase one gateway contains the phase one encryption has and all the informations. And the phase two contains the phase two parameters. I attached it at the one place. <clears throat> okay. And you would say, okay, over here. Now let's see all the parameters that we have done properly. I created the Phase two parameters with the encryption and the hash. <clears throat> I defined the phase <clears throat> one gateway with all the parameters and I attached the phase one profile that we created above with the encryption and the hash. So everything is done in the proper manner. <clears throat> now we need to get into the virtual router. I need to get into the virtual router and I need to add the route for the address that you are going to communicate with the other side tunnel IP as a gateway. So I'll come to the route, okay? And under the route, I will say, come to the admin PC, come to the virtual router. You can see all the tunnel interfaces and the physical interfaces are under the virtual router, custom RTR. Under this, you will come. <coughs> And here I'll come to the static route, add a route for the tunnel. And here you need to give the information, who is the destination. Now, what is the destination pub, private IP that you want to communicate with through the tunnel? That's your 26 dot, 26 dot 26, you know, zero slash 24. So you will give this information over here. <clears throat> Twenty sorry, ten dot twenty six dot twenty six dot zero slash twenty four. You will give, and you will mention the tunnel interface and the other side tunnel interface. I give. <clears throat> so I'll mention here through the tunnel interface I want to communicate, and my next hop would be ten dot thirty dot thirty dot two. The other side tunnel interface. I give. So this is how you'll add the route and say okay now say commit 
okay one more thing before i commit i need to create the policy as well <clears throat> come to the policy inside the security policy make sure you have a policy from lan to panel and land to tunnel so i would say it's a inter zone <clears throat> again you can say and tunnel to land so i just want to create all the configurations in the single policy wherein i want to define my source can be land zone my destination can be my destination can be a tunnel zone now again my source can be tunnel zone and my destination can be land zone to forward the packet did you guys understand this thing with any source as from the lan <clears throat> and any destination to the land is this clear guys yes sir clear okay, so just need to understand don't get complicated over i mean so don't think in different way say the packet might come the packet might come from outside right sorry the packet might come from tunnel to the inside or inside to tunnel you might send the packet so both the cases you have to define the policy so instead of defining the two different policy i created the single policy okay <clears throat> and action as a allow you can say okay and say commit commit the changes okay this is done now coming to the pa2 i hope it's ready username admin password also as a admin a login i'll quickly do the configuration and i will say delete device config system type dhcp client i'll commit the things <clears throat> and i'll manually configure the ip address so i'll configure the ip address here as a dot 181 that i pre decided while doing the configuration on this part here. so I'll come to PA2, and here I'll say set device config system type uh, system IP address, and I'll put the IP address as a 103.0.0.253 with the net mask. as a 255.255.255.0 and out of it okay once this is done i'll get into the uh, interfaces first i'll manage the interfaces the first interface would be the part of management second interface should be the part of uh, in my case it should be outside let's say this outside 
sorry the first interface would be the first interface should be the part of lan right so this is lan 2 and the let me check here the outside what i have taken for outside i have taken a wan outside okay so on this also i'll take a wan outside this interface so that we can make the connectivity between the public interfaces wan outside wan outside okay <clears throat> now i'll make sure this windows pc is under the lan 2 and the call auto for firewall is also under the lan 2 so these lan interfaces are matching and the public zones are matching here and their lan interfaces are different this lan interface is different this lan interface is different and the public interfaces in the same zone so that i can make the connectivity between the public interfaces of the palo alto firewall let me quickly take the <coughs> access of pa2 https colon double slash 103.0.0.253 Say advance, <clears throat> add exception, username admin, password as admin. <clears throat> I'll quickly configure all the parameters on the Palo Alto, <clears throat> the second firewall. In a short way, I'm going to do all the things you guys can see, like how do I do? So the first interface, <clears throat> we'll take it as a LAN, L3 interface. I can say virtual router. I can use a default virtual router or create the custom one. It's up to you. <clears throat> In this case, I'll use the default virtual router. Sorry. I'll create a zone. I don't have a zone, so I'll just create a LAN zone. Okay. It's my L3 type. Say okay. <clears throat> IPv4 address I would create for the LAN. 10.26.0.0.0. Last 24 and advance. I'll create a profile <clears throat> just called as a ping and I'll allow the ping and I'll use it for everyone. So I created, I'll just take the another interface as a WAN. This I'll take it here as a WAN L3 interface. Virtual router, the default one, security zone as a WAN I'll create. And I would say, okay. And IPv4 address, WAN interface I'll create. 172.16.3.181. Last 24. <clears throat> And under the advance, I'll allow the ICMP ping done. I'll commit these changes. I'll check the initial connectivity and all. I'll come to the Windows PC. I'll test. I'll say ping. 10.26.26.10 as my LAN IP. I can ping. It's working fine. Come to the call auto tool and say ping. A host as a 172.16.3.48, the other firewall interface IP. Man, sorry. Outside interface IP, you need to say ping source as 172.16.3.181 to the destination host as a 48. 
you can see I do have a reachability. So guys, currently I'm able to ping from here to this private interface. And from public to public, I'm able to ping. I'll also test the connectivity from this PC to the gateway. So let me test. <coughs> this is the test PC. You can see I have the connectivity. Now, from this firewall, I already configured the IPsec. I'm going to configure the IPsec on this particular firewall. Till this point, everyone clear, right? Yes, clear. Okay. So on this firewall, I'm going to configure the IPsec. So quickly, I'll do it. <clears throat> so I'll come here. Uh, tunnel interface. I'll add a tunnel interface one. And uh, <coughs> you can see I'll configure the default virtual router security zone. I'll create the tunnel zone. Say okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and say IPv4 and the address for tunnel IP I'm going to say ten dot thirty dot thirty dot two slash thirty four and for ICMP, I'll say pin. Now, this is how I created the tunnel interfaces, all the details. Now, I'll come to the crypto phase one. I mean, like under the IPsec phase one configuration, I'll say phase one config. Group I'll use as a PI. For authentication, I can say MD5. SA256 for encryption, I can say three days. AES lifetime, I can change it to the hours. I'll make it as a 24 hours for the phase one. So, phase one policy is there. Phase two, uh, phase one gateway, I need to define. So, here I'll say phase one gateway. And here I will define the interface is the WAN interface I'm going to use with the WAN IP. And my peer is the other side as a 172.16.3.48 as a peer IP, public interface. And the key I'm going to use as a follow all to follow all to. Now come back to the advanced option <clears throat> and you need to say a phase one profile to be attached over here. Say okay. <clears throat> I hope this thing I have attached in the ASA one as well. Under the IK gateway, advanced option. See, I have not attached it. Phase one, I was supposed to do. I told, but I, I hadn't done it. Okay, so I'll commit the changes over here. On PA1, that part was missing, which I did currently over here. Now, configure the crypto IPsec phase two tunnel under the PA2. So I will say phase two. Under the ESP, I'll add encryption as a three days. AES, you can define the authentication as a <clears throat> SAR256, you can use MD5, whatever you want, group as a 5, lifetime for the phase 2, let it be as a group, so one hour. So I hope this matches the parameter of A, sorry, your follow to 2, sorry, follow to 1, 3 days, AES256, group 5, AES. SAR256, SAR256, anyone should match it, good, okay. And finally, I'll configure <coughs> the 
IPsec tunnel. Under the IPsec tunnel, I will say IPsec tunnel interface. <coughs> okay, interface tunnel and phase one and the phase two. You will attach over here. And you will say, okay. You'll come to the virtual router, default virtual router. <clears throat> route, first of all, I need to add the default route. 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 0 towards the WAN interface. <clears throat> Gateway, I'll make it as a 172.16.3.48. And another, I'll add the tunnel route. Tunnel route. For, for tunnel 2, the other side private IP address is 10.11.11.0 slash 24, the submit. And I should communicate it to the tunnel interface with the next hop IP as a 10.30.30.1 as a tunnel interface IP. So I'll say OK, OK, and I'll make the changes. I'll say commit. So, guys, did you understand the configuration on PA2? Yes, yes. <clears throat> Okay, one thing is missing, that's the policy. So I'll create the policy between LAN underscore tunnel, wherein I can say inter zone, my source zone can be the LAN zone, and the source can be the tunnel zone as well. Again, destination can be a tunnel zone or the destination can be over, uh, sorry, the land zone. Also. So, in this way, you will define the policies. <clears throat> also, I can define the policy between land to WAN. <clears throat> I can say land underscore WAN. Wherein my source is. Land zone and destination is land zone. Coming to changes. <clears throat> Currently, if I come to the IPsec tunnel, you can see your tunnel status is showing down. Hello, uh, sorry, red color. It means your tunnel status is down. Here also, the tunnel status is showing down. So let's start pinging. Let's do the communication between the two firewalls between the tunnel interfaces. If they communicate, your tunnel is up. You can say ping <coughs> uh, with the source as your 10.30.30.1 to the destination host as a 10.30.30.2. See, they are communicating. The tunnel interfaces are communicating. It means, come to the admin PC, refresh it. Can you see the tunnel coming up? Yes. Now, come, come to the other side also, refresh it. Can you see the tunnel interface coming up? Now, if you <clears throat> try pinging from the test PC, from one test PC to another test PC, ping. 10.26.26.5. See, you are able to communicate through the tunnel. So, this is how the communication happens. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so, all the tunnel info informations are passing. So, same thing is defined in the document. 
you can give these commands and see how the infections are happening. So VPN IPsec SA. So in the CLI, you can say so VPN IPsec SA. Here it is showing in the jumbled way because you know the string size is very less. You take the telnet as sorry SSH access. Sorry, one not three dot zero dot zero dot two five four. That means Now here you make this screen size big. Now you say show uh, VPN IP address. Can you see there is a tunnel with a, this peer address? IP sec tunnel is there using a phase one parameter. Okay. ESP with encryption three days and the hash two fifty six has been used. Okay. So there is a total one essay created, one essay is found. So we confirm there is a tunnel created. Am I clear? Yeah, yes. Okay. So today we are done with the IP6 side to side VPN. Tomorrow we'll start with the HA. So see you guys tomorrow. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, guys, who are the, those who are connected with the next batch? Please connect again. I'm disconnecting and connecting. You know, I'll be online again.